did this because he was trying to get the attention of women, you know. Uh, so he was trying to act a fool. When it came to whacking, what they were they were concerned about beats in the music, the musicality, the boom, 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 boom. So your body would go boom, 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 boom. Entonces, eh, lo que él dice es que cuando habló con Don Campbell, cuando empezaron a bailar Loki, cuando él empezó a hacer movimientos de Loki, fue para las chicas. ¿sí? Como que empezó a hacerse el tonto para ganarse minas, por hablar mal y pronto. Eh, en cambio, el walking, el fin es estar a tiempo, estar en el beat. ¿sí? O sea, él, digamos, ¿en qué tenemos que pensar? Cuando, ¿Él en qué pensó cuando empezó a bailar walking? Fue eso, el beat. Next question. Oh. <laughs> wow. Are you standing? My God. He's up there. Wow. Khalif and him are the same. Why and when did you start dancing walking? And why did you choose? And why do you choose walking? Wow. Oh, good question. <laughs> I whack. I saw it the first time with, before it was called, before whacking, there was something called posing which hopefully when we do the workshop, I'll show you what it is. But when I saw that, that's what kind of made me go towards there. I do party dances, I do other dances. I can lock a little bit, I can house a little bit. I can't house, no. I can house a little bit. I can, no, I can't crumb. I can't do that either, but what I, you know, What made me like whacking is that it was so different. It was like, you come in there and it's like, oh my God. Everybody would be boom, 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 all to the beat. And it was just so shocking to see. So I wanted to get out and learn more of it. And oh. I started whacking in 73 before you're born. <laughs> before you're born. Eh, en cuanto a cómo, había algo que se llamaba el posing, que fue antes del whacking. Posing. <laughs> que, estaba, que existió antes del whacking, que fue lo que a él le llamó la atención que también tenía esto de estar en el beat, esto de... Y en cuanto a cuándo... ¿73? 73. Empezó a bailar en el 73. Ahora sí, lo quería. And I first saw the dance in a, in a club called uh, The Paradise Ballroom. That was a gay club in L.A. They had a couple of them. That was that one. There was, there was a couple of them. But the two that come out to my head would be the Paradise Ballroom and Geno's. There was a Geno's one and a Geno's two. Geno's one burnt down, and then they made a Geno's two, which was upstairs above a, a gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. There's a lot of queens out there. No kings, just queens. Había dos boliches. Ballroom. Paradise Ballroom. Paradise Ballroom. Paradise Ballroom. Es uno de los primeros boliches que hubo. Y el otro era... And the song that they took, the song that I saw it too was called Papa was a Rolling Stone by the Temptations. Wow. Papa was a Rolling Stone. By the Temptations, yes. That's the one of the first songs you saw it. Yeah, that's the first song that I saw it. 
la primera canción que escuchó que, que, de walking, digamos, para bailar walking es Papa when the body was young, Papa era una, eh, una, una piedra <risa> rodante, rodante, rodante de, de, de Temptations. Yes. Y bueno, y el segundo boliche, Gino's. Gino's. Gino's one and two. The one, el primero se quemó, se prendió fuego. Gino's one burned down. Sí, y el segundo. Then Gino's two was above the gas yes. station. Era, y el y Gino's dos era eh, era arriba de la estación de gas. <laughs> oh no! Oh another. Stand up. Let's see who's taller. Uh, who do you think? Him or him? I don't know. Push your camera. Push your camera. <laughs> okay. I'm having fun. God bless you. Go ahead. Uh huh. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> I want Imperial House to Wack to be in South America. That's what I can tell you. I want it here. Lo que puede decir es que quiere que haya en Argentina un Imperial House of Wacking que no tenemos. That's what I can tell you. Imperial House of Wacking. <laughs> Imperial House of Wacking, we have maybe, I think, 14. 14 chapters all over the world. Uh, we're one of the we're one of the uh, strongest houses in the world. I'm the father of the house, and Jody Watley, my friend, is the mother. We have a house in, in all of basically all of Asia, Japan, New York. Oh, I'm glad that they said that. Can somebody go back there and get those posters? Yeah. Can you tell them about the posters? Yeah. Um, hay 14 Imperial House of Walking, o sea, sedes en el mundo. Yeah. Japón, India, en todo el mundo. Eh, no, no, it's talking about the posters now. Lo que les quería pedir, eh, que es en base a esto del Imperial House walk, of Walking, es que uno de los integrantes de Imperial House of Walking <ríe> eh, se lastimó hace poco, eh, tuvo un problema muy grande bailando en el Broadway, se lastimó el pie y está sin poder bailar adentro del hospital, que es muy amigo de él y alumno de él, y quería saber si entre todos tenemos unos pósters, él cuando llega a Nueva York va a ir a visitarlo, le gustaría poder llevarle algún recuerdo de nosotros, pues dándonos, dándole todo nuestro amor para que se cure y esté bien, porque ya saben lo difícil que es para un bailarín no poder bailar y estar lastimado. Así que quería si, bueno, lo podemos, we can give them that they, they can, or maybe they can pay. Lo podemos ir pasando, hay cuatro. Hay cuatro. How many people want to know that answer? Okay, well, let me tell you, let me tell you first what the, what, what the, what the similarities are. Similarities are, they were both created from the gay community. We'll start with whacking first. The thing that makes whacking different from voguing is that whacking started in the early 70s. It started with, in, in the gay community, it started with, uh, the music was different, and also the decade was different, and it was done on the West Coast. Now we're gonna do voguing. Voguing was created on the East Coast, in the late 70s. 
and it was done to house music. And the two things that have in common is the fact that the gay community always wants to be a little bit more over, over the top, should we say. Entonces, empezamos con el walking. Walking eh, comienza a principio. El walking comienza a principio de los 70. <laughs> Y empieza con house music en vez de con la música que estaba en el walking. Claro, hay una generación de por medio entre principios de los 70 y finales de los 70. Understand? Capish? Yes, I want him to make a question. And you know what? Wait a minute, before I say anything, you guys were so nice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start to give you the beginning of what I was going to do. Unfortunately, I can't finish the whole class, but I'm going to give you the beginning of it. So that at least you can take what I'm about to do and you can go back to your home and you can practice and drill on it. How's that? Por ustedes, solo por ustedes, por nosotros que tenemos esta energía tan particular a pesar de todo, eh, va a dar el principio de la clase, va a responder la pregunta de él y va a dar el principio de la clase. No va a poder dar todo por el tiempo, obviamente, pero bueno, va a dar el principio para que puedan llevarse a sus casas y puedan trabajar en ello para que la próxima vez, esperemos que sea pronto, podamos seguir trabajando con eso. No. You're kind of right, but not, but not completely right. Kind of, sort of. But let me tell you, whacking and punking are the same dance. Whacking and punking is the same type of dance. You may hear different stories about how they became whacking or punking, but the story that I know, the story that I'm sticking to, is that one of the lockers, I'm not going to mention a name, would go into the gay club and, and not talk, just watch. Then they would go and they would duplicate it. They would take all of the feminine stuff out and start smoothing it out. <coughs> so that when he went back to the other lockers, they saw it as a new dance. And because there were gay people that were doing it, they, they labeled it punking because they saw gay people over there doing a dance, so the straight people would go, the straight 
ones that would be doing the lot would go, look, I'm punking. So it's not, it's not necessarily a negative thing, but it's a, it, 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 it was a small issue with me. Lo que dice es que lo que pasó es que un bailarín de Loki, que no va a decir el nombre, por respeto a la persona, eh, fue a un boliche de gay a bailar y se quedó mirando, se quedó observando a los que bailaban guapi. Recogió toda la información que podía y empezó a bailar con estos lockers, este, o sea, mezclando el Loki con el guapi. Y para que no lo traten de gay, porque momento los que bailaban Joaquín, que eran los gays nada más, le cambió el nombre y le puso Punky. Pero en verdad es lo mismo, solo que es la visión de otra persona. So, you're, it, it's somewhat right. Now, if you speak to other people, other people are going to tell you that Punky, the difference between Punky and whacking is that Punky is a little more emotional. To me, it's all the same dance. It's just a matter of if you want to do it rather feminine or if you want to do it rather, I'll say stylized, you know? It's all the same dance. Para él, lo que concierne a él, eh, para él es lo mismo. Solo que hay gente que dice, depende como todas las historias de esta cultura, depende con quién hables, cuál es la historia de cómo comenzó todo, ¿no? Pero eh, <laughs> <laughs> the DVD so we can see some videos too. <laughs> eh, trajo el DVD así que vamos a poder ver la información que quería mostrarles. <laughs> I told you, I come prepared. I was gonna, I, I wanted to show you videos of what the original whackers were doing. I want to show you how people came to even start whacking what they were doing, what they were watching. I have all of that. I wanted to show you. But unfortunately, I don't know if we'll have time enough to do that. But I do want to go and, and, and show you the, the, the drills that I have so that you can go back to your prospective countries and, and work on it from that point. Él eh, estaba realmente preparado para esta clase. De hecho, fue el único profesor que pidió más tiempo porque la hora y media que había no le alcanzaba y tiene mucho material porque quiere que realmente vean lo que es este, cómo bailaba desde los principios del WAPI para que tengan realmente el foundation, ¿no? o sea, que la base y lo puedan, puedan volver a sus hogares, a sus países, cada uno a su lugar y la información sea la correcta. Movies, what, what are the things, a couple of the things that inspired whacking was when they watched the old black and white photographs of some of the stars like Marlena Dietrich, uh, uh, what's her name, uh, Grace Kelly, they would be in black and white and the light would be here and they'd be like this. That's some, then you had some movies that, that also inspired, uh, as you can tell when they were dancing, and then they would go, but everything is beat orientated. For those who were trying to put soul in, in whacking, there was no soul in whacking. I know many of the Asian countries, especially Japan, I love you, <laughs> I have to say that, would go out there and they would start doing all of this, putting funk in there, and with the original people that did this, there was none. They never did that. En cuanto a las películas, dice que In the 40s. The were in the 40s. películas the 40s and 50s. más o menos de los 40, 50, donde está Grace Kelly, mujeres, era una época en que la feminidad en las películas, Malina Dietrich, era una época en que la feminidad estaba muy marcada, ellos se inspiraban en estas mujeres que se han convertido. Bueno, eso sería en cuanto a las la, la películas. Eh, I horrible. Uh, oh, any other question? Oh.
I named it Wacky. <laughs> I did. Nobody else but me. The reason why I said that was because I was teaching somebody and I said, you have to whack your arm that way. So, Jeffrey, I was in a group originally called the Outrageous Whack Dancers. I don't know if you know who they are, but this was Jody Watley, Jeffrey Daniels, myself, uh, Sharon Hill, Cleveland, Cleveland Moses. We all made up this name, this thing called the Outrageous Whack Dancers. And we called it Whack because of that. So, Jeffrey said to use two A's instead of one to make a difference. Él le puso el nombre Wacky. ¿Por qué le puso el nombre Wacky? Me estaba explicando a alguien cómo se bailaba y lo que es extender los brazos le dijo, you have to whack your arms. Tienes que abrir los brazos. But what was your definition about Wacky? How can I explain it? Open. Wacky. 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 Huh. Yes, there you go. Everybody, I have so much fun. Thank you, guys. Tiene un montón de libros con un montón de información que tiene los primeros flyers y demás. Los va a mostrar que ahí van a dar las fotos de las crews y demás. I think one girl had a question. Young lady. Was it you? Victor, Victor is a very good friend of mine. Very good. He just kept the name Punk. Remember I told you that they start calling them Punk? They just kept the name. They just, that, that's all. They just kept it. That's it. They kept it. They, they, they're Punk. They call themselves Punk. Let me say this. Whacking the gay community is here. You had a group of people that saw the dance and decided to call it Ponky. Then you had another group and saw the dance and wanted to call it Wacky. It's the same dance. Eh, pero, o sea, es lo mismo. Él baila Wacky, pero solamente se quedó con el nombre de Ponky. Se quedó con el nombre de Ponky para mantenerlo. Pero ahí se está con el nombre de Wacky. 